Of course, the question always arises, you know, the public asks this question, uh, what uh, do academies of science <laughs> do, you know, in, in the benefit of society, and how do we interact with policy? And I think these are very important, these are very important questions. So for the Brazilian Academy of Science has some experiences on that. We have produced uh, documents with recommendations for public policy. We go to the Congress uh, to support uh, the uh, uh, the support science and support government's uh, uh, budget for science. Uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a hard uh, work, you know. It's tough because uh, uh, we have some politicians who actually listen to us, but many are worried about other questions. And uh, we have this problem of uh, illustrating society uh, about the importance of science and technology and its the fundamental role in the development of a country uh, nowadays. So I would uh, like to ask you, uh, as with your experience, you know, you're president of the German Academy of Sciences as well, and uh, now you're president of the Inter-Academy Partnership. Uh, what do you think about this, you know, about the role of academies uh, in the world? Well, I think what is so nice about academies is that not only that they actually select the best mind and the best brain which I have in the country and the different disciplines and bring them together, but they are actually independent. Independent in the way that they do not serve, you know, politics, that they do not serve industry, mm -hmm. that they only are serving science. That's very important. And yes. that's what they are doing, is bringing the knowledge to the people and bringing the knowledge to the politician. But they are not lobbyists. And I would say this is a very important yes. point we have to stress that whatever we do, we do for free. We are not getting paid for. Yes. We are not earning more money personally. Yes. The academy will not get an extra bonus for this. It is only in the interest of society and politics. So uh, my definition always is, I'm willing to give my document on the doorstep to the politician, but I'm not entering the room. Right? And I'm not you now trying to, to push him in the corner. Mm -hmm. I think our science, evaluation and our recommendation should convince him and should make for him it is, you know, to find the right uh, vote in Parliament. Because voting with open eyes on, on a topic is something. But open to our voting with closed eyes, that we have a slightest idea what the consequences are, this is worse. And then we have failed. So our, our my, my concept for the role of academies is bring the background of the problem to society, to the politician, and then see that a, a healthy discussion takes place, which will end in a very good solution, hopefully. Yeah. Right? That's a very important point. And you know that we have an example of that in Brazil. We produced uh, a book, uh, which is called The Project of Science for Brazil. Yeah. And we had 180 scientists working on the several chapters of this book, working for free. <laughs> no, that took two years to uh, finish it. We have chapters on, on uh, ecosystems, nanotechnology, brain, uh, basic science, uh, uh, innovation uh, policy, and, and you know everybody worked for free. And, uh, and it's, it's a wonderful book. It's available for free <laughs> in the website of the Brazilian Academy of Science. And of course, we uh, we send it to politicians to people who are in the executive branch of the government, to the ministers, and so forth. And I think it's uh, you know it's a treasure of knowledge there because you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's a recipe for political action in these topics. And as you mentioned, you know we do it for free. Yeah. And you have a very good cartoon, which I noticed when we you know e enter the lecture room. Uh -huh. There is a cartoon about what your academy has achieved with your scientists. Mm -hmm. And there's this one scientist who has, you know, found out that if they would take a bacterium and put it, you know, to the root of a plant on the seed, mm -hmm. they would, you know, produce nitrogen that your plant needs. And yes. the slogan is, I'm not doing it for money, I'm doing it for the million of people 
that they have a better life. And uh, this is a very that's good it. quotation. It shows quite nicely what an academy that's is it. there, right? That's it, that's it. That was Joana Doberainer, yeah. uh, a Brazilian hero. Hero, yeah. A scientist who was vice president of the Brazilian Academy yeah. of Sciences. He yeah. reinvented this process yeah. that has multiplied the productivity of soya beans by at least fourfold. So it's an amazing invention which has helped uh, oh, Brazil yeah, yeah. It is fantastic. and the world. It's, it's fantastic. So yeah. I would say I was very impressed. And it's yeah. a good example yes. of how, how academies really yes. work. Yes. Yeah. It's very impressive. It's very yeah. impressive. And I would add that, you know, uh, the academies are really the place to have interdis interdisciplinary work. That's right. Because, yeah. I, of course, for a specialized work, you have the scientific societies. But the academies have this uh, big plus that they have this, all these brains, all these scientists that work in different fields. So it's the right place to approach these problems who have an interdisciplinary character. So yeah. Like, you know, uh, poverty, for instance, can be tackled by different disciplines. You have health problems, you have food security problems, of course there are economic problems, uh, and the academies are the place that can bring together all this knowledge in benefit of the population, and I find that great, you know, it's a great mission. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a wonderful mission, it's wonderful good. And I would say, you know, we are both coming from a science background, mm -hmm. and uh, my, my experiences in, in life, in particular in the life of academies, is that it is, we have to support social sciences, you know, to be more aggressive in picking up issues. Yes. And in my experiences is when we have a difficult problem, I give an example, you know, Europe is a country in which the gene-modified organism is not accepted by, by the people. We should not take it as, as that we cannot change it. But it can only be changed not by science. Science can find out how you modify a plant, whether you do it, you know, with, with CRISPR-Cas, new technology, or you have other technologies, that's fine. But the acceptance of a society that this is important, sure. this has to come with the help of social sciences. And I would say there we have a tremendous deficit in Europe where I'm coming from.